Hey guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna integrate React.js to our Adonis.js application. So we're not gonna be using Edge for certain parts of this. Basically, the application, as soon as you log in, is gonna be made with uh, React. Now, the home page is fine if we have a uh, server side rendered, and there's other pages that we could have that we could say, hey man, we actually want this for SEO purposes and we want this to be crawled. So we could use server-side rendering on that. But for this part here, this is more like an application. This is more something that we want it to be dynamic. We want this to feel fluid where, you know, we get a notification up here. And like, let's say we're sending a message to somebody. We want this to pop up automatically using WebSockets. Like, you know, we want this to look legit. All right. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to start integrating React. Okay. If we look in here into our uh, resources, assets, and then you go into our JavaScript, I already have this set up for you. Okay, remember all the way in the beginning when we were setting up the Web Developer Starter Kit, basically right here, this is a React component. Okay, so what we're going to do, which is very simple, we're going to come here and going to close this down a little bit we're going to go to our app.edge okay and what I'm going to do here is basically let me find the beginning of this this is the app container okay here you go all right so we got app container here let me come here and do a little something like this we're gonna say diff ID app I'm gonna close this down I mean we could actually put it just in one line if you want to now remember we dropped the database when we did a refresh so what we got to do now we got to register again so make sure you go to localhost 3000 slash register then from there we're gonna say um, Joe at gmail.com I'm gonna say car one two three four car one two three four we're gonna click register all right and here we are okay so this thing that is showing right here is actually our react component okay but not now so when I come here and I register right if I come to our first component I change this and say uh, changing this component automatically is going to be saved we refresh this so it's changing this component okay one thing that you got to notice is that the reason why it took a little delay is because now since we're using react remember that our yarn run watch needs to compile the react code so Showing this again, I'm going to say change this component to save that. Remember, this is a solo change. You got to compile everything. And then once it's done, it's complete. All right. Now, I just noticed a bug that is inside of our uh, gulp that file. So basically, the reason why the webpack is running so slow and, and it loads multiple times is because of this plugin called const shell so what we're going to do is we're going to come here we're going to change this up we're going to come to where it says webpack at the bottom of our go that file go file.js sorry okay and what we're going to do is we're going to take everything from here from this function and we're going to override it with this okay we're going to save that so what that's going to do is is basically just run webpack as if we just we came in and we said uh, webpack right and look how quick it loads okay it's pretty fast all right so that's what's gonna do when we run webpack now the next thing that I want to do is I want you guys to copy this from here where is it uh, so it's not this one it's gulp exact okay so this is where I got this from. This is like a fix to it. All we have to do is copy this. 
and come here to the top and override this shell because we're no longer going to need it. Now, if you're watching this in the future, I'm most likely going to be fixing this um, in the web web developer starter kit. So in reality, you might not even see this uh, mistake that was there. But if you do, you know how to fix it. OK, so it's really not in my hands. It was really more of like the creator of the shell plugin for Gulp. So this is actually a better way to doing it. So, yeah. All right. And it's cool because we don't have to use no plugins. All right. So now to make sure this is running perfectly, what we're going to do is we're going to run again. Yarn run watch. OK. And as you can see, it started Webpack and finished it. And that's it. Before it was doing it multiple times. It was like one, two, three. It was like a major bug. All right. So to be honest, I never really noticed it because my computer is pretty fast. But I know for some people, they'd be like, man, my computer's slow. I'm on a Windows computer. Why does Webpack take so long? So basically, that's why I find that. Uh, a little quick fix for you guys. All right, guys. So now let's go to our first component. I'm going to change this to uh, testing. Okay. Save that. Come over here. When it finishes, it should change. Okay. Yes, it does. So there you go. So as soon as they finish compiling, then it basically jumps. All right. So let me see. There you go. It says, Finish webpack after four seconds. Let me try to run this one more time. Yarn run watch. Okay. So that's fine. Do it one more time. Testing one, two, three. Save that. We on this page. And there you go. Now, guys, what I want you guys to do is go on Google and search HTML to JSX. You will find this where it says HTML to JSS, React JS, React Magic. Just click there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the app.edge. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so app.edge and you're going to copy everything that's here from the app container and down. Okay, copy everything until the last div. Now here, you're going to come and you're basically going to paste this in. Okay. So you're going to paste that in. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to come here, copy everything that you see on this side. Okay. Copy this. And then we're going to go to our first component.js and we're going to copy it from there to there and just paste it. Okay. Now, next thing that we want to do, we want to come here. Wherever we see at section or like the at symbol, what we're going to do is we're going to change it. So this section right here, we're going to put in home page all right well, just like that we can put this in a single line let's scroll down see down here this content area what we're going to do we're going to actually um basically copy what we had on our home dot edge we're going to copy this okay and we're going to copy everything that's inside of this. Okay. All the way to the bottom until the end of the section. Now we're going to copy this. Okay. We're going to go to, let's see, app that edge. Okay. We're going to go to the first component. Now in this section where it says section content area, that's where we're going to paste in the new JSX that we just got from the home that that edge. So 
come here, select all, and we're gonna basically paste that in. Okay, now all we have to do, we're gonna copy everything that's here until the section. Copy it and just paste it here. Okay, we're gonna go select all and we're gonna right click and then we're gonna format with prettier. Okay, so what that's gonna do is gonna just format our code in a more clean uh, version where we could see things more clearly. Okay, now let's go back to our Toku social network. And as you can see, we have uh, basically the same layout in two, two spots. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna come here, we're gonna duplicate this, and we're gonna say app dash, and then on this app dash, we're gonna say app dash um, old, or you could put server, All right? Now on this one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna right click it, rename it to app that uh, app dash um let's say react okay so we're gonna have two of them okay so app dash react app dash server okay now on this app that server uh app dash server we're gonna actually just delete this this id app that we have here and for this one where it says the dash react one what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete all of the HTML except the ID app that we have here okay delete everything and there you go now what I want you guys to do is we're gonna say pages slash react okay we're going to create a new file we're gonna say or even better we could just duplicate what we have on the home.edge so I'm gonna come here I'm gonna say duplicate this okay and here we're going to put in react.edge all right now for this we're just gonna copy this cut it out and go to react.edge and the content area we're just gonna delete everything here okay paste that in and our app dash react we're gonna come here we're going to do some changes we're gonna say at section and then pass in uh, content area okay go to the react.edge okay and the layouts that we're going to use we're going to say app dash react okay now let me come back here refresh this okay seems pretty good Let's check something. Okay, so we got everything in here. Now, let me see, we got this. So we got diff ID slash app. And then we have this container. Now we gotta figure out why isn't this going uh, 1400 pixels and it's probably because of this div so let me see what's going on okay let maybe it's in the CSS
Okay, we put in with 100%. Okay, so this is fine. So we got width 100%, max width. Zero auto. Okay, so that's what we gotta do. So pretty much in our CSS, we gotta say ID app with 100%. So let's go to our CSS. We're going to come here. I'm going to say ID. Well, ID app with 100%. Save that. Okay, so that's fine. Now, for our app container, we just got to say um, the width of 100%, that's fine. Uh, we got to say margin zero. So app container, margin zero, auto. Okay. And there we go. So we have our application running with React. And this is like the, the first part. Uh, we're going to break down everything into components. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.